Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Kansi Namani and if this is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face, please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and giving this video a big thumbs up if you end up enjoying it. And if it's not, hi loves, welcome back. Okay, ladies, I'm back with another fashion video. I'm actually starting to enjoy these. Who knew? And today's video is going to be an ASOS haul. So I don't have the big bag to show you guys because the last time I did that with my Shein video, I fell down and hurt my leg and I still have that scar to today. So I said it to be normal this time. So yes, this is going to be a haul, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I've decided to actually style the piece um the pieces i got from asos this time so i'm just like wearing it randomly like i'll actually show you guys one of the ways one or two ways i can wear um these pieces so you have an idea and see if it actually is worth buying because we're also trying to be sustainable but before i jump into the haul i'd like to address some questions i always get asked in terms of like international shipping and all of that but if you know all about that i'll put the correct timestamp this time because last time i missed up because i was editing but if you want to skip this part and just go straight to the haul i'll put the timestamp right there and yeah now for the rest of you who didn't skip i am here to answer your questions so i put up a, ta a question tag so I, so I can know what you guys want to know about this so one of the most asked question is how long does delivery take so i ordered twice the first item was actually a large order i'm not going to lie and asos is not as affordable as sheen um, i would say their pieces are definitely more quality so i guess that's what shows reflects in the prices and that one i ordered on the 13th of may and that was on a friday and on monday i believe which was the 16th I got a message from Skynet that my order has been delivered and I would need to pay customs. Now, what is Skynet, you might ask? Skynet is a pain in the butt. <laughs> okay, so Skynet is kind of like an independent delivery service that ASOS has hired to ship out their deliveries before. It. So the thing about Skynet is they charge customs. Sometimes it's just outrageous. Sometimes it seems fair. But because of my order was large, my my custom fee was actually over 90,000 90, naira. And at first I thought it was outrageous, but when I did the math, usually it's about maybe 20% of what you what you ordered from and it wasn't so far off. But I actually wouldn't advise you to do that what I did. It's been a while I shopped on ASOS and I forgot what I normally would do, which is when it gets to a particular amount, usually maybe a hundred dollars or maybe just about two hundred dollars, I stop and I just buy that and then come back and buy another one. So I pay twice even though it's the same order because that way the customs is not as high. Another thing I said I would mention is I did order twice but they were not like the same order so the smaller item i got they're just two shoes it hasn't come yet and i literally ordered that the next day so i don't know if i got mine so fast because of the amount i paid and i didn't pay shipping because it was free i had passed the shipping limit but um yeah the second one i ordered the very next day hasn't come yet and it's been about what two weeks now i don't really know what that is about and i'm a bit annoyed and under frequently asked question is it doorstep delivery yes it is they will bring it to yours okay the other questions were about just basically shopping on asos and signing in guys it's the same thing just go on the website and try the only tricky part i feel people usually come across is the zip code and i said that in my last shame video wherever you are if for example you're in lucky phase one go on google type in lucky phase one zip code the number you see there Put it it's not that deep they just know it's nigeria when it gets to nigeria they will call you if you put your number they'll call you and be like where are you and they'll deliver it to wherever you are but why it's important is so that you can put the post office that is reasonable distance from where you actually live so don't go and put surulere if you live on the island because that's just unnecessary you could have just gotten it delivered to your post office near you but yeah now we've gotten this all out of the way let's jump right into the hall Okay, 
Okay, ladies, so we're out on to our fresh dress. This is a really beautiful um, orange flower. I think these are flowers. Flower, <laughs> flower, floral wrap dress. Um, I, it has a hole at the side and you tie it around. I got this in a UK 10. I honestly think I should have sized up. And I'll definitely wear this to a baby shower. I decided to categorize these looks according to events. So the first event I should have seen is a baby shower. Not that I've ever been to a baby shower, but I do believe I'm coming. I'm coming to the age where my friends are going to start popping babies. <laughs> and I just want to be fed. So I would definitely wear this. I don't know if it's appropriate, but this is what I would wear. Probably pair with flats, but this time I wear it with heels. And I'm not mad at it, even though it is colorful. As I always say, I'm not against color. I just, that's not the first thing I would reach for, but I really do love this. Piece. I think it's very nice. It cinches me in the waist and it costs 32 pounds. Everything is in pounds. I know it's exchange them into dollars. Like I said, ASOS is not exactly as affordable as Shein. And these days I'm actually going for more quality pieces as opposed to quantity. And I really do love the fabric of this. It's not thin, it's not see-through, it's very much cotton, and I think it looks rich. So this was 32 pounds. I also paired this with a shoulder bag, a straw type nude bag. I love this bag so much. I definitely see myself wearing it a lot. This bag was 18 pounds and yeah, not much to it. I think it's that's a decent price. And yeah, this is the first look. Let me know which look is your fave at the end of this video. So yeah, on to the next one. <laughs> Okay, love, so this is the next look. I have on this brown asymmetric top and this costs 30, no, sorry, this costs 24 pounds and I got this in a UK 10. This one, I'm happy I went with a 10. It's not too big. It's actually like a wrap top to be honest because I had to tie it on one side and do the other thing on the other side to make that wrap effect. So I really do love this. This look I would wear to an influencer brunch. This look is a bit more tailored to me and my lifestyle. I am an influencer and I get invited to brand um, launches or brand opening or even actual lunch lunch like L-U-N-C-H L wow L-U-N-C-H and yeah I would wear something like this. It's very weather appropriate. The sleeves are really nice. Um, I wore it with some office pants. I go from Zara, the office pants are not from ASOS, but I'm also trying to show you guys how I pair new buys with what's already in my wardrobe. And that's kind of always what I have in my mind whenever I'm shopping. Will this go with anything in my wardrobe? And that was kind of the main purpose of this video, trying to show you how I mix and match. I also went with some open, what they call the shoes, a toe thong mid heel sandal. And this went for 34 pounds um in between a uk 7 or an 8 so this is a 7 and if it's fine but i'll say if you're a true 8 don't buy this actually the same shade as the top well almost and i was like yes perfect so i paired it to office pants i still went to the same bag uh that i showed in the earlier um look and it was still 18 pounds i'm just trying to show you how versatile nude bags can be so within the spur of the moment i just saw my zara blazer and i was like this kind of matches this pants and i actually just threw it on to see what it gives and i can't lie it really did give again this can be work appropriate if you don't plan on taking off the jacket i guess but i really do love how this looks it made it a bit more sophisticated like i always say i'm not even mad i'm repeating this same blazer because that's the whole point showing you how i can always wear the same things with different looks and it works so yeah, that's it for this one. On to the next one. Okay, ladies, so this is the next look and I think you'd already know this is definitely a girl's night out. Uh, I have this I don't know, flowy dress, what would I even call it? What do they call it on this side? It's called a plunge poplin 
mini dress in black and this cost 24.99 pounds basically 25 pounds and i got this in a uk 12 actually happy with the sizing not mad at it this is very very club appropriate or dance night for anything sha like it's sweat proof i'm not going to be hot it's sleeveless it's short but it's flat it's going to be open in the cleavage area but it's not tight it's free very very comfortable it's a very very comfortable dress the material is also quite stretchy yeah it's not it's not like tight or stiff it's very soft very flowy i'm not mad at this it does zip at the back and the back is a little bit open i hope i was able to show that i really do love this i just paired this with one of my old shoes didn't really carry a bag with this one but honestly it's a black dress any bag can literally go i should have actually carried a bag but oh well nothing much to say here i love it <laughs> next one <laughs> next look i have this really cute halter neck um top from asos it's actually the only item from asos the shorts are actually from zara and the white or cream mules are from plt this top is in a size uk 10 and it costs 20 pounds i really love this top it's really light material if you don't know i'm really big on wearing weather appropriate clothes i don't like being uncomfortable especially when you live in this part of the world it's very hot almost every single day so i think that this is amazing i would actually wear this outfit on a lunch date actually i think it's flirty but still cute not overly sexual but you know we're still giving them legs we're still giving them a little bit of the decolletage that's what it's called right i think so so yeah this is what i wear for a lunch date you know something light oh let's go for lunch talk get your gather see if he's a waste of time or not <laughs> but yeah i think i'm very comfortable in this it has some um ruching in the middle area i kind of tucked it under my bra to be honest yes i am wearing a bra i know how to finesse bras <laughs> this type of things but if you can also go braless uh so yeah i think it's really cute very light nothing else to say on to the next one <laughs> Okay, love. So next up, I have this beautiful white piece, and it's definitely giving she e o, not c, she e o. I really love this look. It's giving lawyer about to present you. Not in Nigeria though, because I don't know what you are doing with those wigs. <laughs> this is the only wig I put on my head, so clearly I'm not a lawyer. But I really love this piece. I just said, I was like, you know what? I was tempted to dress this up casually with like jeans. So I was like, let me give the office babes, the work wives some inspo as well. Even though I'm not in that sector, I can dream. So I really love this. It's giving, I'm coming to inspect you guys. It's giving, we're about to make our next one billion. <laughs> talking nonsense at this point. But I really love it. I paired it with Zara Pan. This is the only... Um, item from asos actually so i got this in a uk 10 and i'm happy i did and it cost 13 pounds 25 so i think it's one of the one of the items on the cheaper side and i love this you can dress this up dress this down however you want to yeah it's a little white and black moment these things i rarely ever dress that way because i don't know there's nothing about white and black to me i love both colors separately but not together if that makes sense i don't know why i'm just like it always gives me uniform but in this one, I just thought, you know, it worked. I'm also wearing pointy shoes from PLT. Never worn this out, to be honest. But I also wanted to, like, throw in some pumps to give, really give it that office look. And, um, yeah, I love it with the bulb. It just comes together. So, on to the next one. <laughs> a look i would like to wear abroad because i'm so sorry nigeria is just too 
hot for leather for me i think i can actually get away with it because of you know the top is strapless so not so much going on but i'll definitely wear this on a night out in dubai i'll maybe dinner something cute i can also like grab a coat in case it gets cold in the evenings but yeah both the top and bottoms are actually from asos this i got in a size 10 uk 10 i was actually quite surprised i could wear a bra on that because i'm actually wearing a bra and yeah it's stretchy good material and this cost how much this was 16.99 pounds that's basically 17 pounds and the pants i got in a 12 i actually just tailored it i was actually considering wearing this for the fancy launch but again i was just so scared of the heat and i hadn't tailored the pants because i got the pants in a 12 and bigger under so i usually tend to size up but i think i could have gotten away with a 10 but it's been tight uh, i don't really i'm not really a fan of how the ends are but i think it looks okay from afar not really when i'm looking down but yeah i got the pants in the 12 and it cost 37 pounds i love this look silver silver i don't really have much silver in my wardrobe that's why i forgot and i changed to the only silver bracelet i have it's rusty and a silver ring and yeah not much to say i love it really edgy and yeah this is my night out in dubai look on to the next one <laughs> The next look i have on the asus satin cami maxi slip dress in black and this cost about 30 pounds again this is a big staple i always say you can never have enough black dresses and i honestly do mean that but funny enough i don't know why i actually don't have a cami black slip dress i mean this can literally do anything and that's why i called it my errands day outfit this is what i'll this is what i'll definitely wear to run errands maybe to edit maybe to print some things and this dress is honestly so comfortable again weather appropriate this is very i love the fit i'm actually happy i got a uk 10 in this a uk 12 wouldn't, wouldn't have given me the silhouette i was going for it's not tight it just sits on my body it's really really lovely it slits at the sides and i said to dress this down because obviously you can dress it up with heels and i think that's what people would mostly guess i would wear and yeah i can definitely and will definitely do that but for this video i wanted to show you how you can also wear this simple i paired it with these asos platform flats i always saw this but i never really like but then but i just you know decided to just you know be different and go to your comfort zone and i did and i actually quite like them they're very comfortable and i got the these in the uk8 they didn't really have a seven and it cost 14 pounds and yeah nothing much to say i mean it's an lbd you can't really go wrong with an lbd so yeah off to the next look <laughs> Okay, ladies so we have the next look this is a white dress a white mini dress i always wanted one but when i got it i saw that the fabric i wouldn't wear it out if that makes sense like i wouldn't wear it out out i feel like it's a little bit not exactly see-through but i feel like the fabric is so flimsy so that is why i said to use this as my beach wear obviously i would wear a bikini under and just use this as a cover up because that's i don't know i just feel like the fabric gives me more of cover up vibes than actual like dinner dress i wouldn't wear this out for dinner and it actually cost 24 pounds and i'm like for the money this should be 12 pounds honestly half of that and i got this in the uk 12 i'm happy with this sizing it's not too tight i still have some breathing room so this is what i wear to like a beach in jamaica or dominican republic very much island vibes holiday vibes for me so that's why i went with this number over a bikini so i said to dress this up with a hat that was actually gifted it was actually not from asos the only asos item is this white dress and the flip-flops i love this flip-flops i don't even know what they are made of it's soft definitely sand proof 
this was 15 pounds so also not very expensive and yeah i said to dress this down but i also want to give you a more dressy option i'm going to switch it out with just shoes and bags both from asos <laughs> So the shoes I'm wearing here are the glamorous baggy bare heeled sandals in silver. Again, I don't really have much silver jewelry, so I was like, you know, let me get this just in case. I think my next purchase should be a silver bag just to have it because I've realized I actually do need a silver bag. And this shoe cost £26 and I went ahead with this really very different bag. I wouldn't normally buy this type of thing, but I just thought it was fun and cute and I love the shade of blue. This is the sequin discs and chain handle in patrol blue and this was 30 pounds i actually love this bag i wore it sometime last week and yeah i just feel like silver chain and silver shoes going hand in hand and it's a white dress so yeah that's basically how i dress this up <laughs> So this is the next look and this is my airport look guys when traveling especially out of the country i just like to be comfortable because that's like a long distance on a plane not to mention i'm also terrified of flying yes i don't know where this phobia came from i never used to flex as a child but yeah so i don't like things that constrict me on top of the hypertension i'm going through on the plane so that is why i paired these Zara Kami bodysuits with this ASOS cargo pants. They're basically made of sweatpants material. It's like, honestly, it is sweatpants for being honest, but I think the pockets just make it a little bit different. I don't really know about traveling with sweatpants. I know, like, it's just not, nothing is wrong with it. I'm just, I just like I'm not that girl, but I feel like this kind of gives me more to work with. And I'm like, okay, this is not, not necessarily so personal, but so I got this in a UK tour because I wanted a bag yes fit. You can cinch it on the waist. And this was £22. And yeah, I also paired it with some pointy flat mule. Those were £13.75. These are very, very comfortable. I love it again. Comfort and it's covered. I also use this for errands. Maybe when I just don't want to wear slippers all the time or sandals and just wear this. But yeah, this is my airport fit. <laughs> Okay, loves, and then we have the final outfit. Is this actually all I got? No, but am I also really, really tired? I am. So just watch out for my Instagram for more looks that I didn't feature in this haul. But yeah, I have this asymmetric white top I'm obsessed with, and I got this in a UK 10, perfect size, and this cost me 14 pounds. I also paired it with this sage zebra print skirt, and this was 32 pounds. Also got in a UK 10. Perfect sizing. I paired this with my PLT mules again, very um, low heels. I just thought this is perfect for church. If nothing is revealing, in my humble opinion, and I feel like it's cute, classy, and yeah, fit for church. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. I'll link all the items I bought down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did, and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.